everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. For today's video, I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be tier ranking guinea pig breeds. I saw Victoria Rachel do a couple of tier ranking videos over on her channel and I also had someone recommend to me over on Instagram that I actually do this and it sounded like a really fun and interesting idea. So I have a bunch of different guinea pig breeds, hopefully. I have covered them all. I like went on a different couple articles and tried to get all of the breeds and I'm going to be tier ranking them with the five tiers that I've traded here. So we have the superior tier, then we have the yes, love them. And then we have mid, which is for the breeds that are just, they're just mid, like there's no other way to describe them. They're not great. They're not, I don't like, it's not like that I don't like them, it's not that I love them. They're just mid. We have eh, not my favorite. Then we have would not own. So I'm interested to see um, what, I'm actually like, I haven't even like thought that much about this many different breeds. So I'm interested to see where I'm gonna place these. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, this first breed here, okay. A lot of these, I have only read the name of the breed. I've never actually like pronounced it out loud. So I'm probably going to mispronounce the majority of these breeds. So just bear with me. We have the, a Gouty, a Gouty breed. Um, it's kind of just looks like an American guinea pig, but it has like this specific like coat pattern. I'm gonna put these in mid. Um, nothing special about this breed, but like I don't have any strong feelings either way. And next up we have Ridgeback. This one I actually specifically added, even though it wasn't on any of the breed lists because I personally own a Ridgeback guinea pig. Um, it's between love them and mid. Um, I'm going to go with mid again, because I like Ridgebacks. They're te in some countries they are considered like a form of, of, um, Abyssinian and other countries are like their own breed. But again, like nothing super sticks out to me. So they're, they're going to get mid too. Um, I think this next one is supposed to be a picture of a teddy guinea pig. Um, I'm gonna put this in love because I do love them. I think it depends on the teddy though. Like for example, this one isn't the, the cutest guinea pig if I'm being completely honest, but I've seen really cute teddies. Like the pig room, his teddy Jojo is really cute, but there's some of them are also like mid, so. They're gonna go and yes, love them as sort of an in-between. This is an Abby. Um, Abby's gonna go in love. Um, I like Abby's more than like Ridgebacks. So Abby's will go in love. This is gonna be controversial. Um, this, I believe, this is the Baldwin guinea pig, which is like a hairless guinea pig that's actually like no hair at all versus like over here. This is a skinny pig where they have some hair. Baldwin guinea pig is going and would not own. Um, I feel like this is a controversial opinion, but I don't like the hairless guinea pigs. I don't think they're cute. I don't find them attractive, aesthetically pleasing, and I would not own one. Like, obviously I don't base all of my guinea pig adoptions on whether I find them aesthetically pleasing. I do find the majority of my guinea pigs aesthetically pleasing, but some of my guinea pigs also look very like plain, so to say, but I would not own Baldwin guinea pigs because the thought of like petting bare skin is like extremely unappealing to me. Like it just, it's not even like it's like smooth, like human skin. It's like bumpy as you would like pet them. You could like feel their wrinkles. And I just like for a pig that needs like a bunch of extra care as far as like keeping their skin clean and like bathing them and like feeding them extra and like they poop more and keeping them warm. Like there's a lot of extra stuff for Baldwin guinea pigs that I don't care about them enough to do that. So gonna have to say would not own for them. And then next up, this is a Himalayan guinea pig. It's gonna go in, eh, not my favorite. Um, I don't think it's, the red eyes that I don't like. I think it's the combination of the white fur and the red eyes. I feel like I just, it's just not, not, not my favorite. <laughs> 
And then next up, another one that I'm probably going to pronounce incorrectly, Lankara, Lankara I think. Um, it kind of reminds me of a Peruvian, except like the hair is like a lot thicker and like rougher. Um, these are going to go in, eh, not my favorite, solely because of the way that like the rough hair looks. I'm not really a fan of that hair texture and the grooming that would come along with it. So they're gonna go in not my favorite. And then this one right here, I'm trying to remember the name of it. Merino, Merino, guinea pig. Um, I don't know. I think I, they, they, they go in mid. I don't feel like super strong feelings either way. So they're gonna go in mid. Um, this I believe is a Peruvian guinea pig and I'm thinking uh, it's stuck between loving and mid. I think I'm gonna put love them because I think I, I like them a little bit more than the ones that we have over in mid right now. And then I believe these ones are Rex guinea pigs. Um, They're also gonna go in mid. I like Teddy's, well, I'll put them in love them because I feel like Teddy's and Rex's are very similar. And if I were to put like one in mid and one in love, like it wouldn't make sense. So they're both gonna go in love them. This is a Shiba guinea pig. It's going straight to Superior. Um, I love the fur on Shiba guinea pigs. I feel like it's like a cross between like a long hair and like a medium hair. And I just really, really love the way that their like hair poofs out and like lays everywhere. So definitely going in the Superior tier. This one, I think this is a Sheltie. Um, silky, my bad, Silky guinea pig. Uh, their hair only grows backwards, it says. So these are gonna go in mid because I feel like with, um, I'm gonna forget the name, Peruvians, it kind of like droops and like goes down and it like kind of flows. What with um, silkies, it kind of goes straight back, which I'm not as much of a fan of. So they're gonna go in mid. Um, Skinny Pig is gonna go right next to Baldwin Pig with Would Not Own. Again, just like everything I said about Baldwin Pigs, I feel the exact same way about Skinny Pigs. The texture of the skin, just everything about it is gonna be a hard no for me. And I almost like, I like Baldwin's a little bit more than Skinny's just because like I either want fur or no fur. I don't like how Skinny's are like kind of like, they have some fur, like I just, it's just not my favorite. I just, no two hairless guinea pigs of any kind. Um, up here we have Crested, which I'm gonna put in mid. Um, I own a Crested guinea pig. I think they're cute, but I don't think they're necessarily like any cuter than like your standard American. Um, so they're gonna go in mid. And then what is this one? I think this is an alpaca guinea pig. Um. They're also gonna go in mid. I feel like they look a lot like this one here, which I forgot the name of, um, with like the fur texture. Or wait, maybe these were alpacas. Hold on. This is a Texel, my bad. This is a Texel, which is a rare cross between a Silky, which is this one, and a Rex. Okay, does, it, does the fact that they're rare, should I move them up a tier because they're rare? They'll get moved up a tier because they're rare, but these ones, which are actually alpacas, will go in mid, I think. As you guys can see, I'm very, very particular. A lot, we have a lot in, in the in the mid range here. This, uh, this one, why can I not remember? I can't like remember the names of these breeds. I have to keep flipping through. Cornet, maybe? Um, I like these, um, these are gonna go in love. I like the way the hair flows more so than on these two long haired breeds. I like these ones better. These are gonna go in love. And then American's gonna go in mid. And I literally just realized I forgot to include California guinea pigs on here. 
and California guinea pigs are like some of my favorites and they would definitely go in superior. So I feel like, like I wish I could like go back and add them, but just imagine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit it in, but imagine there is a picture of a California guinea pig in the superior list because those would be my top two superior pe peds, breeds, superior breeds, Callies and um, Shebas. So this was my tier ranking video of guinea pig breeds. I know this was kind of a shorter video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was fun and interesting. Um, comment down below your superior guinea pig breed. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to see more of my videos. And I will see you guys again next week. Bye.